Hello Gemini, we're getting ready to do your reading. This is a love reading for Gemini. It is timeless, but I am publishing it for the third week in July is when it will appear. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, let's look at our messages for Gemini. All right, we have lots of things want to talk, the cards want to speak. Look at Gemini, there you are in your reading. Ooh, that lover's card was determined to come out. The person that you love is very different from you. There's something about this person that's very magical. When we look at birds, we're getting messages. And this bird has a top hat. This bird has a very big message of love for you coming in, Gemini. In the recent past, it looks like the two of you, though, very different. You could be from different cultures, different countries. You have a whole different look at the world. The two of you right now are not really talking about your feelings, but the love is there. But you can see there's a lot. There's something tumultuous going on deep beneath the surface. The King of Cups has control of his emotions, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't feel some sense of um, angst, shall we say? Because we get a there's a a shark right there. There's a certain amount of fear going on in the heart space of both you and your lover at this time. Gemini, Gemini, okay. You're trying to stay very balanced right now. Libra energy, you're trying to just be balanced, be very clear about what you need and about what you want. That is Libra energy. How do you view the situation? Well, right now you're maintaining the status quo. You really feel with the Four of Pentacles, you're holding on to the situation, but you do feel a sense of guardedness. It's like you're protecting yourself. You're holding that which you value close to your heart. You're not really letting anybody in right now. We see you holding back, keeping to yourself. There's definitely a lock on the gate. So something has happened that doesn't feel quite right. Intuitively, you're just not on the same page with another person. However, you are moving forward slowly. You're doing it very methodically. You're keeping your emotions balanced. You're not moving too quickly either. Look at this. Here you are. Here's So that's Virgo energy. But you see yourself as remaining single for right now. There's nothing that you want that you feel as though you can trust at the current moment. So you're just going to stay in your power. Hidden here in your energy is a shock. There is something about the foundation of your life that feels like it's shifting right now. You feel as though you're in a very, um, a very dramatic time in your life. You don't really know what's going to happen. Spirit's advising you in love to invest. You know, you've really invested in something, and Spirit is saying that this investment was about a transformation from you, for you, that whoever this person is that you're connected to, that you really do, you should allow the transformation with all those butterflies to take place, to take the lessons that you've learned. The outcome card for your reading is the Emperor card. You are managing things admirably. But again, we see you, there's a lot of a uh, sense of being alone right now. So we're not seeing you with other people, but we are seeing you manage your feelings, managing the situation in your life around you. So let's dig in here. Let's see, why do we have the Lover's card? Why are you so different? Ten of Cups. Wow. The Lover's card The Ten of Cups is happily ever after. For some of you, you could be in love with somebody who is married. For others of you, this is a divine love in which you are, you see this person as your happily ever after. The person that you've been the most happy with in your life, Gemini. It's Ten of Cups. It's Pisces energy. It comes. It came as a complete shock, kind of a mystery to you. You don't really understand what it is about this person. But I feel like there's a gentleness to them. 
right now the energy between the two of you is you're on lockdown. You feel like the two of you can't really come together right now. There, There's a situation, and I do feel like for some of you this person was married, but right now we see both of you obsessed with each other, not really speaking about your emotions, not speaking about the relationship, feeling in kind of a painful spot of being stuck. The two of you need to heal your relationship, Four of Swords. You need to both rest. You need to both relax. You need to take a step back. This is really an important time for you both to be in this place where you can rebuild whatever it is that the relationship brought you to. Again, we have another marriage card. So the energy between the two of you, why is the Hierophant here? Why is it here? The King of Cups energy, oh my gosh. So the King of Cups is here, the King of Cups is there. Neither of you are telling each other how much you love each other. Okay. Why? Eight of Pentacles energy, okay. So now we have the Eight of Pentacles twice. We have the King of Cups twice. We have two sets of marriage cards here. So it looks as though there's some crisis for many of you that you may work together. You're trying to hang in there. You're trying to keep it cool. You're trying to keep it balanced. You're trying to manage everything appropriately. Both of you are trying to keep the foundation stable, but you feel like your foundation is blowing apart. So it is mutual energy. Why is justice here? Five of coins. So there's a situation in which, Gemini, this person left you in the cold. You're trying to get your balance back. You're trying really hard to be optimistic. Justice card and justice card. Now we're looking at, when we look at justice, we're looking at seventh house energy. There may be someone here who has not told you that they have decided to leave a relationship. They may be separated. They may not have told you. The Justice card twice is, is just you making a decision that's fair and balanced for yourself. And I have a dog snoring in the background. I don't know if you can hear a little Rosie snoring for you, Gemini. We have, you may be dealing with a Virgo who's coming towards you very slowly. Somebody's coming your way, Gemini. And it looks as though there has been the filing of paperwork, and I think it's hidden. I think you don't know about this. Either the plan to do it in the near future, or the actual inception of a separation. They're coming towards you very quickly, Cancerian energy. Lovely. So your person is riding in. They want to tell you something. You know, we're seeing this energy that they want to come in very quickly. It looks like you might have seen them in the recent past. Why is the, they know that you're very self-protective. They know they had to come to you to talk to you. Why is this person coming in so fast with their emotions? Knight of Swords coming in fast to tell you something. They want to tell you that they really care about you. They want to tell you that they love the way you nurture. They love your kindness. They love your reliability. They really want to have some sort of relationship with you. They see you as being very fiery and passionate and very reliable. We also see that they have great passion for you. They want to make love to you. They want a new passionate beginning with you. When we look at the chariot card for what's in their heart space, they're moving slowly and deliberately forward. They are. They want to fight for the relationship, Gemini. Your person is really, they have fire in their belly for the relationship. They feel as though right now that the energy between the two of you is frustrating. It doesn't seem to be very, um, it, they think that you're bored with them. They think that you're not taking them seriously. Nine of Wands, it just is really enforcing the fact that they're trying to win you back. Your person is trying to win you back. The Six of Swords, they know that they need to move the two of you out of trouble. We get the energy of them coming at you with a lot of passion, a lot of love. 
This person really has a tremendous understanding that if they, if they want you, if they love you, if they need you, if they desire you, that they better tell you because you're going to cut them out if you don't. Why is the tower card here? Wow, that just popped up. So this person, so Gemini, what I'm having here is you have a lot of suitors. You have a King of Swords, Aquarius. You have a Taurus energy, Earth sign. We get, those are two kings. So you have people who are, who are in the, around you in your life that are capable of making you decide to leave this relationship. So whatever's happening here with this person and their, what they've given, what they haven't given, you definitely are in the energy of putting the death card on the relationship. I mean, you'll just end the relationship. You will ignore your person. You want them, you know, you definitely want something more than Lance Romance coming in with, you know, a cup of love, a white horse, and ready to leave at a moment's notice. You don't want it. You want somebody stable. You want a foundation, and that's going to be very much on your mind. You do want a reconciliation or a reunion with this person, but they, they need to really come to you, and if they need to be open, they need to really make a significant offer. Three of Wands, you need to have them make an offer that is your ships have come in. You need for them to come forth and really give you something of substance. Otherwise, poof, they are, you are going to pull out the rug from underneath their feet. I believe that your person feels this way. I believe they understand it very clearly. What is the transformation and the investment? Why are they doing it? You are the head. The Three of Cups, it is a celebration. So you are going to have a reunion. What we're seeing here is that you're going to have a reunion with your person. The Strength card says they have fire in their belly for you. They want to go the distance with you. They're managing, they're trying to manage everything, but judgment is coming in. No more managing anything. Make a decision, make a commitment. Look at that. You are bored. If this person does not come in and do something significant, if they just keep hanging out and not talking to you, you are going to let them go. You are looking for your emperor. You are an empress or vice versa. But what I'm seeing here is that that's what you expect. Let's see what this person is actually going to do. Is this person going to come in this week? We have King of Wands energy. So we do see your person taking action. So that is a decisive movement forward for you. Happily, oh nice. The Nine of Cups is your wish fulfillment. This person comes in. They do make an offer. They are saying, hey, look at Gemini. The third party situation is over. You know, you're not left out in the cold anymore. There's a lot of reason to celebrate. Your person is telling you that they left a third party situation and that it's over and that they are finished with it. They have no emotional interest or investment in the person from the past. What's the best Gemini can expect from this person at this time? Oh, I hate it. Devil card. Your person is making an offer with strings attached. <sighs> okay. Let's look and see. That was very, very, that was, that's very, you absolutely know that your person has issues. It does look as though there's something to do with the strings attached having to do with their beliefs. The cross they have to bear. It looks like they have baggage. They do want to grow the relationship with you. But the cross to bear is something that they see you willing to do. Tell us about the cross. Okay. Okay, so I like it, actually. I was a little worried there for a minute. That was a, a kind of a, like, whoa, screech. Stop the presses. Holy moly. Okay. So what your person is saying is that they love you, but they do have other people they have to consider. That part of the offer that they have is that they do expect you to respect their 
prior commitments to children, to a family, the cross to bear means, you know, it's a relig re religious belief. I can't even talk. It's like Mercury is still retrograde. Okay, so we see the person has responsibilities they take very seriously. They will move forward with you, but they also have to look back and see what this is. And they're very tied to, I think, a person who may be very jealous. It does look like their ex is very controlling that that could interfere in your relationship, that they're going to disclose that energy to you. So they are coming in with a very strong offer of commitment. They will disclose to you the, the anxiety, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beauty of the relationship. They're going to really open up to you. And they know that they're not coming into you with a perfect resume. They know that they're bringing baggage in, but they're going to let you make that decision. They're going to really ask that you give them a chance. Your ancestor advice is harness mystic power. You have the black cat on your side. You can, you can afford to take this risk is what spirit is saying. Feel loved and comforted at this time. Your person really does adore you. Let's see what the forest oracle says in terms of how you can stay grounded at this time. Gemini. All right, we have wise woman of the grove with grace. Just be graceful. Accept what they have to say. Let it play out. That's what I see. You're in this beautiful energy of staying very balanced. And, um, you know, and there's your person getting a divorce. There they are. They're coming to you single at this time. And here you are. They're the Knight of Pentacles. And... As the reading began, you were the Nine of Pentacles. So, Gemini, it looks like a happy ending for you. Okay, depends. Tell me in the comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.